Guys, we are now on E85, finally. We're gonna be, yep, pulling down. So we are going to throw more power at it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Man, I've been gone for about two weeks, but today we have a lot going on. So if you guys saw the last two videos and you would have seen that we put a lethal performance fuel system on this car. Guys, we are now on E85, finally. So this is a dual reg setup, lethal performance, and it's sweet. I love this system. This is the second time we're running one of their kits on an S550 and I couldn't be more impressed. So love the fact that everything is, you know, pre-assembled. So the fact that we have pre-assembled lines with the Lethal Performance Fuel System really does make your garage DIY installs easy. So about four to six hours and that's all it takes for fuel system is sick, dude. But anyway, if you guys are looking for more power and you're looking to change fuel, going to E85 and you are a Mustang, especially if you're boosted, check out Lethal Performance and use promo code Xander13 at checkout and save a bunch of money. I really highly recommend their products, but I digress guys. So, so the main focus today, I think is we're going to be Yep, pulling down. So we are going to throw more power at it. Now, over the past week or so, I've had this fuel system on the car, and no, I have not done driving footage with you guys. I apologize, but let's just pretend that it picked up about 80 to 100 horsepower, and that's probably typical. Punt 93, we would have went from about maybe 15 degrees of timing to about 21 with, with E85. So that's what we're gonna be doing today is doing a watt hit, or several, <laughs> with uh, some logs. The fueling's been really good. Um, his tuning has been flawless. I love guys go check out winger performance Let him know that I sent you as well. It's the best in the business at this point. I really are loving this kit guys ESS supercharger you cannot beat their price email Brevin at ESStuning.com and let him know that I sent you for a good deal on these kits. They are already cheap They are already cost affordable, but let him know that I sent you and he will hook you up even more We're gonna go down to the one. I think this is 110 yeah, 110. Okay. This is going to be a little bit smaller. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, that almost fits right inside. So this is going to give us about four more pounds of boost-ish. So if you guys know about boost, then when you pull it down, you pick up another four PSI. Typically that's another, let's call it 70 to 100 horsepower. It's typically around 80 to 100, honestly. So we should be all over 840 830 horsepower i don't know we still have stock headers on the car so we're going to run into cat over temp protection pretty quickly i need to get headers on this car asap honestly but yeah and a clutch and a clutch but everything about this supercharger including the belt routing seem to go on and fit a little easier than some of the competition out there so anyway let's go let's install a smaller pulley on our boosted mach 1 Turn it up just a little bit more and hopefully all goes well. And do some data logging, wide open throttle hits today. Let's have some fun. Let's have a good video. Let's go. All right, so should be pretty simple. I like the access that we have here. Again, direct access. And then we can come through this side of the engine right here, right behind the overflow tank. Difficult, but it's so much easier at the same time compared to some of the other brands out there. So. Um, just, you know, the right tool for the right job. I need something with a little longer handle and it would have made everything a breeze, but that's not the supercharger's fault. That's just, you know, tool selection, honestly. But, okay, so belt is off. So let's pull it off the car. All right, here we go. That slides off, look at that. So then we have our little keyway in here. We need to transfer over. All it does is it slides out, okay. And then our new one just kind of there's right in there, same way. It's just kind of like a crankshaft, okay? So it's got a keyway cut out in the actual shaft of the thing. So it keeps it all nice and tight. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. And then once we have some tension on it, I'll, you know, obviously get it torqued down. There is a torque setting to this, so I need to look that up. I'll put it in the video though. All right, so it looks like we got some rain coming in. So we gotta get the show on the road. So it is time for our first start with our Forgive me, I had a 120 millimeter pulley on it and we went down to a 110. So about three or four pounds of boost more, I believe. But now it is time for the first start with more power and E85. Here we go. Fires right up. <laughs> so let's let it warm up. I'm, I'm curious to see if it's gonna actually like 
be louder at idle. So far it is, but we're still hovering around, you know, that thousand RPM range. So let it come back down and I want to see, because I think it will, will it be louder at idle? This is the straight cut gear G3 kit that we have on this Mach 1. All right, so real important, watching short term fuel trims at idle. Everything looks beautiful. Wingard performance. Go check them out for tuning. All right, she's still coming up to temperature. We're going to give it a little blip. Oh, that looks, that is so nasty. It's pretty, that blow up out is sick, dude. Okay, so yeah, it definitely seems a little bit louder right now. And uh, RPMs are dropping. Let's, uh, let's, take, uh, let's take a listen. Let's take a listen under the hood. Sounds good. It's alive. Here we go first drive so i'm gonna watch my fuel trims i'm gonna do like a baby hit and watch my fuel trims and then if it looks good i'm gonna back down then we're gonna plug in our rtd plus device which is really cool and like wireless to your phone I'll show you how to use that it's pretty neat but and then we'll do a full watt hit and then we got to data log that of course you know we're using the rtd device we'll be data logging that for the tuner uh but you know conversations with him we just the timing is already good to go, so he just wants to see it to verify, but we are good to go for our first watt hit. Definitely seems a little louder at idle, which is not a bad thing. Rain is coming. Now let's turn traction control off. Okay. a little bit more lively just under uh oh yeah oh yeah fuel trims look muddy okay let's do it again let's verify yeah negative two negative three at about three four throttles so when we go full flat to the floor it should be zero i want to take i want to just yeah we're going to pay attention to that but it feels good that feels good just religiously watching the gauges very 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 important just because we have it's just good peace of mind even though we have the you know the permission to go wide um, I just want to take it you know crawl walk run right you know so I want to verify myself and then for the full shebang wide of a throttle we'll have the device plug in down logging Seems, everything seems good. So huge shout out to, let's get turned around here. Huge shout out to Brevin at ESSTuning.com. Again, email him. Let him know that you're interested in one of these G3 kits or G2, G4 if you want to make big boy power. And uh, he'll be able to hook you up. Turn around here. And let's do our first baby hit. Yeah, the whole kit definitely, definitely is louder. Um, the, the, the whooshy noises you get from these sentry blowers is definitely amplified now that we have a little bit more spin on the blower itself with this new pulley. freaking money dude ah, yeah the 120 uh pulley that we had on before it wouldn't really blow off tires that much now it's definitely doing it so we're, we're definitely slinging some power it needs a clutch i know and it needs headers i know headers these days are like really hard to find especially if you're like hunting down like you know free flowing catalyst but the search continues guys the search continues definitely needs it um we're still in the factory cats but um you know, most of the time I'm just kind of babying this thing around town, so I'm not really that concerned about it. But for like racing and stuff like that, we do need to get headers on the car before that happens. All right, so one of these guys is worth its weight in gold. 
because you can do everything wirelessly to your phone, Bluetooth, which is pretty sick. Um, and then for an iPhone, it's a TDN app. This on right there, okay. And we're getting a couple of raindrops. We gotta hurry up. Come on, connect, connect, connect. Let's go. Mother Nature gonna ruin things. And it started, okay. Score plus, advanced track is completely all the way off. All right. It's a bit of a straightaway up here. It's definitely more peppy. Definitely more sauce. Man, those clouds look mean. All right. Do a third gear hit. Let's get up here. Stop it! Stop raining! Alright. Start and boost and... Yeah, that's spicy, dude. That's spicy. So, headers. We need headers. That's gonna wake it up even more. That's what's killing us right now is gonna be cat over temp protection. You can definitely feel it when it kicks in. Uh, it just feels like the car, it starts pulling timing and everything else. You guys know how it works. But uh, yeah, definitely, definitely for this horsepower, need headers and need a clutch. Just slow right now, getting parts is really slow. Um, and then you guys helping to watch the videos, you know, helps fund this whole thing. So I appreciate everybody out there. Uh, so I appreciate all you guys out there watching the videos and you subscribing, giving a thumbs up, and uh, helping this this dream become you know a continuous reality. So let's get turned around up here because we're heading into the storm. We want to be away. What's cool about this too? So it's all wireless on your phone, and then when you're done, you can upload it goes to a server. So data log is stop view sync files. So we'll go to the last one right up here. Okay, so we hit upload. And it's going to go to a server and the tuner can just plug right in and check it out and if there's revisions needed it comes through here and it just goes wireless to when you connect to the device down here it just you can send it wireless it's like the best thing since sliced bread i think all right man let's do one more Let me see. there it is there it is short shift of updated As the rain is starting to come down. This is sick. Sick setup. Love this kit. Loved it before. Really love it now. Guys, this feels incredible. Oh my gosh. Especially with the manual transmission. I mean, automatic is going to be fun too, but it's going to be like on and off. This, you can just leave it in gear. Let's do that. Let's put a third and then on, off, on. <laughs> I love it. So, all right, that's the video, guys. I'm having a blast. Car's doing good. Uh, can, you know, we need some more mods before we can really race it. That's why you guys haven't seen me racing the cars because we need more stuff. We need more modifications to the Mach 1. We need clutches. We need maybe drive shaft. Definitely need axles because they're going to go snappy snap in this thing. And what else do we need? And we need, and we need. And we need headers. We need more exhaust. But I'm loving the car right now. I honestly haven't been in like that big of a desire and hurry to like do headers because with the car being a little bit more quiet, you really hear the uh, the things spool up. You really hear the G3 kit spool up and I'm really digging it. But yeah, I know we need it. So anyway, I digress. That's gonna be the video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe, comment down below and go check out esstuning.com. Hit up Brevin. Just send him an email, let him know that you saw this video and that you want the Xander special. Mash it. There we go. Hey guys, go check out Lethal Performance too. Their fuel systems, man, they're worth it. And just think about it. We couldn't be on this pulley or on E85 without their help. Without that fuel system, we wouldn't even be playing around with more boost. So I really appreciate those guys. Go check them out, lethalperformance.com, and use promo code Xander13 to save money on not just fuel systems, but like whatever they got on the website. So some things, map restrictions, the code's not gonna work, okay? But in case that happens, just email them. Um, Logan is who I usually talk to, or Jared himself. But anyway, email their staff and let them know that you're trying to use the code because sometimes it doesn't work. It's no fault of the code or them. It's just 
a manufacturing thing. So it's it's a map restriction or or whatever it is, however it is pronounced or whatever that acronym stands for. But anyway, just want to let you guys know because I get that asked all of the time. Please performance, appreciate you. We couldn't be doing this without you. So I appreciate you guys out there. God bless all of you. I'm gonna get this thing out of the rain because it's about to open up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.